My mom always told me, listen, you're going to be in big trouble if you talk about religion or politics. And I think sex was in there somewhere. But we're going to be talking about religious politics now. And we're going to be talking with Dr. Zudi Jasser, local internist, uh, 11 years in the United States Navy. I thank you for your service to the country, sir. Thank you. Parents originally from Syria. Mm -hmm. uh, but you politically tend to be conservative about most issues. What's it like to be a conservative Muslim in America? Well, I know why you're asking me that because, uh, you know, if you look at data in the last uh, elections, I think 90 plus percent Muslims voted for uh, Obama. Um, I'll tell you, the question is, how do you define conservative? Uh, you, you know, I define it as somebody who believes in strong family values, um, small government, and, um, you know, has a uh, belief in private practice, uh, free enterprise, all these uh, strong military defense. And most Muslims I know agree with those things. But yet what's happened is because our community, the Muslim community, is barely three, four million in America, uh, most of whom are immigrants, uh, except for, you know, probably up to 30, 40 percent are in their first or second generation. Um, that population still has been caught into this whirlwind of identity politics. So as a, as a conservative Muslim right now, I find myself in that very small part of it. And you're asking me what it's like because it can be very lonely because right now our community is often they define American politics based on the way Muslims are treated abroad as the other. And unfortunately, as much as I, that's not the America I knew. I grew up in Wisconsin, uh, had one other Muslim family in the high school I went to, um, met my wife the, the traditional way through introductions from uh, um, people within the Muslim community that my cousin felt that I should meet her and I went and courted her in a very traditional way. So I find that to be conservative, and most Muslims would actually agree with that way of, of uh, uh, meeting your spouse. But yet, when they look at me politically, they think I'm the devil. You know, I'm don't labeled. They also, do they also think uh, that you are something other than what they recognize within the structure of their family and their mosque as something other than the Muslims that they know? Uh, I mean, it seems to me that the traditional Muslims here don't feel the same way about the faith that you do. That's the way it's portrayed, and that's the way many of the Muslim groups that claim to speak for our community would like to portray me. The, the Council on American Islamic Relations, which has deep connections with foreign organizations, uh, um, has portrayed me as one of the 12 biggest enemies of Islam in America do in their latest you? report, which I find to be libelous, actually. Do they threaten you? Uh, they've not physically threatened me, no, but they certainly send a lot of hate my direction, and and have been slanderous in their approach to me. And actually, what I do for my faith and my family and my community, I do out of passion. I think the, the strongest way to show love for your faith and for your family and, and uh, fellow Muslims is through wanting to repair, to reform, to modernize, to, to teach my kids that there's no conflict between being American and being Muslim, that we didn't come to America to bring Islam, we came to America to learn about American values and reform our own ideas that were part of the Syrian culture and Middle Eastern culture of dictatorship and corruption that made America, that America has the answer to, which is about pluralism and the separation of mosque and state. My family came to learn from America, and yet it almost seems that the way America's dialogue about faith has become, many in our mosques are, are, are looking at people like me as I mean, it's funny, Dan Rather was talking to Keith Ellison, one of the only Muslim Congress people in Congress, and he asked him, he said, well, isn't Zudi, you've called Zudi Jasser an Uncle Tom. And his response to that on Dan Rather's show was, oh, no, no, Zudi's not an Uncle Tom. He's, he's like, this, you know, like the blacks that used to work with the slave owners. I mean, that's an Uncle Tom. You know? And they deny saying it, but yet they, perp they, they perpetuate ideas. It's amazing. When I went to testify to Congress, many of our supporters who are Muslim were saying, you know, we're hearing that Zudi went to testify that there are mosques in Arizona, there are terrorist mosques, he's calling us all terrorists, etc. And they said, have you listened to his testimony? They said, no, no, that's what the imam said at the sermon in Tempe. And they said, well, what did he say? Well, we don't know. The Muslim Voice newspaper said that he said these things. And then they, we brought some in, we showed them my testimony. They said, do you disagree with any of it? No, actually, they felt it was right. But yet they didn't think I should be saying it publicly, that these things should be said internally 
that these are problems related to radicalization, related to separation and ghettoization of our community and, and reform and criticism. And this is the thing is that when I criticize imams and our organizations, they then label me as somebody who's anti-Muslim. And they did the same thing to Morsi in Egypt. The millions of Egyptians that rose up against him, his military was arresting people in the streets saying that he was anti-Muslim, they were anti-Muslim, that criticism of Morsi, of the Muslim Brotherhood, was equal to criticism of Islam. And we don't realize in America that Muslims like myself that are proud to consider ourselves conservative are being labeled as anti-Muslim when in fact our conservatism has nothing to do with being Muslim, but it's being used as a club on our head to shut us up, intimidate us, and say that we're anti-Muslim when in fact we aren't. So, how many times have you heard those views, huh? Does that sound like the, uh, the members of Islam that you've seen on television, heard on the radio, read about? Well, you've discovered Dr. Zudi Jasser on this, What's It Like? KTAR.com. <laughs>